and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another great maths game for you to help your student or child practice and learn sequencing numbers. Now, if this is the first time you're here, my name is Mr. K and my channel is specifically geared towards looking at activities that help improve learning outcomes for students or children. So if this sounds like something that you'd be interested in, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below and then remember to hit that notification bell so that you're updated anytime that I load up a new video. Excellent. Listen, we've got a bit to get through, so let's get things underway. Let's learn, share, and teach. Okay, today's game is called Sequencer, and it's a game where students will have to use their abilities to sequence numbers to play. Now, this variation is specifically aimed at six, seven, eight-year-olds, uh, but stick around because after we've talked about how to play the game, we'll actually talk about some variations that are out there that may be, be better suited for your student. Excellent. Okay, so let's get into how to play Sequencer. So to play this game, you'll need a couple of things. First of all, you need a white piece of paper and you'll need a ruler and a marker and a couple of other colored markers. Um, the, these have to be different colors and it'll become evident why soon. Um, so once you've drawn up this strip of 10 boxes, um, you would then give each player, and we're gonna imagine we've got two players here, one with a blue marker being myself and another player with a green marker and we're going to start off with me you've got to put in these boxes numbers that are made out of the numbers you roll with the dice and they need to be in sequence and the winner is the person who puts down the most numbers um, in these boxes and look we'll play and you'll get a better idea what I'm talking about so example first of all I roll a two and a five. So I'm gonna make that into 25, and I might put that here. So there we go, 25. Then it becomes the next person or the other player's turn who's got the green marker. He rolls the dice. He's got two, two, so he can make 22. So it goes before 25. Oh, and it's important not to use the same color marker as the other player. That way you can tell which number they've actually written in. So there we go. Oh, made a mistake again. So 22. There we go. And then it becomes my turn again. So I've got two, five, already got 25, so I won't do that. 52 I'll do. So I'm gonna put 52 here. And you get to choose where you put them, but they need to be in the right order. Okay, you can't put a higher amount before a low amount, and vice versa. Then the next player rolls, which is the green guy. So he's got one and three, so that's 13. I could put that there, or 31, or I could put this up here. I'm gonna put 13 down at the beginning there. Cool. Then it is the blue marker person shot again, and they've got one and four. Well, they can't put anything in there for 14 because there's no space between 22 and 13 on the board. But 41, yeah, I could put it between 25 and 52. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put 41 here. Then it's the green marker person's turn again. They roll and they got two at six, which is 26. So I could put that here or I could do 62, and, or the green market person could do 62. So they're gonna do 62. Then we roll, I roll the dice again, the blue market person. I could do 13, it's already been done, or 31. There is a space where I could do 31, so I'm gonna put 31 in there. Then the green market person would roll. Well, the next person, I could do either 34 or 43. Well, there's no space for 43 between 52 and 41, but I do have space between 31 and 41 to do, um, or 
player two has a space to do 34. So there we go. There's that. Now it becomes my turn. I roll six. Oh, 16. Six. I can't put it in any space because 61 is below 62. And there's no space between 52 and 62. And then the other number is 16, which... There is no space for between 13 and 22, so I effectively miss a turn there. Then it becomes uh, the green person's shot. They get six and one. They can't do it either. Anyway, play continues until all the boxes are filled, and the person who's put down the most numbers is the winner of the game. In regards to the variations for this game, some things that you could do is you could increase the amount of dice that students could use. Uh, another thing is you could decrease the amount of dice that students use. Uh, if you've got another idea for another variation in this game, please do us all a favour and put that down in the comments for this video below. Uh, beyond that, if you haven't got exactly what you were looking for with this game, don't worry because coming up, I will share with you the link to my math game playlist on my YouTube channel that I'm pretty sure will have something that you're looking for. Excellent. Listen, thanks for tuning in today. Look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching one of my videos. If you've enjoyed the content or you just want to show your support, please just click the subscribe button down below. You hitting the subscribe button lets me know that you'd like to see more content from me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Subscribe.